Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to discuss iOS 8.3 Beta 4 being Apple's latest beta release, which was issued today, the current jailbreak status, and MSS 2015. <laughs> All right, and before we get started here, if you want to win an all-new iPhone 6, navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, come back here, rate this video up, and then leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code, which can be found in the fourth tab down below at the bottom. Just include the piece that comes after the link, not the entire link itself. And now with that said, before we switch on over here to today's update, I kind of just wanted to go over the general jailbreak status, so that way I can appease those of you who are just looking for the short version as as well as those who are more interested in my long, thorough jailbreak updates. So as of now, there's not a new jailbreak. The latest one only supports up to iOS 8.1.2 and 8.2 betas 1 and betas 2, meaning the public version of iOS 8.2 cannot be jailbroken. Moreover, yesterday, Apple stopped signing iOS 8.1.3, meaning the public can only restore to iOS 8.2 the public build. So that's very important to keep in mind. Again, it doesn't really matter too much from the next jailbreak standpoint. However, if you were interested in iOS 8.1.x, you will no longer be able to restore to any version of it. You will have to restore to iOS 8.2 or later. Again, there is not a jailbreak. MSS 2015, a jailbreak convention is coming up and we are hopeful. However, it's uncertain whether a new jailbreak will be released during the event itself. And that's kind of where things stand right now. Now, any reports suggesting otherwise are based on speculation, so keep that in mind. I will keep you guys completely updated along the way. If you aren't already subscribed, just be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And now let's get more in depth with iOS 8.3 Beta 4. So again, today, as the public eagerly awaits the next untethered jailbreak utility, whether it's for iOS 8.2 or 8.3, nearly two weeks following the release of the third iOS 8.3 Beta, Apple seeded the fourth beta iteration of iOS 8.3 to register developers. Additionally, as with 8.3 Beta 4's predecessor, a new public beta build was made available to those enrolled in the company's new public iOS beta program. Now, today's iOS 8.3 Beta 4 carries an incremental update in build number over its predecessor of 12F5061 versus 12F5047. F, suggesting only minor changes since the last beta. As usual, today's new beta is available for immediate download via either Apple's development portal or as an over-the-air or OTA update for devices already running one of the other iOS 8.3 betas, so beta 1 through beta 3. Alternatively, those who partake in the public beta program can find a download for the firmware through their corresponding portal. However, as with all past beta versions of iOS 8.3 and iOS 8.2 betas 3 and up, as well as even iOS 8.1.3, the latest Taiji jailbreak utility isn't capable of delivering an iOS 8.3 jailbreak in its current state, but that could likely change very soon. So continuing here, in light of the minor jump in build numbers, as previously mentioned, it can rightly be assumed that iOS 8.3 beta 4 merely improves the stability of the beta firmware and rectifies minor complications. Furthermore, the same can actually be said for the firmware itself, as very little will change from iOS 8.2 to iOS 8.3, namely the following, a messages filter for non-contacts, a new Emoji keyboard navigation method, wireless CarPlay connectivity, several new Siri languages, the ability to initiate speakerphone calls from Siri, support for Google two-step account variables, verification, Apple Pay for the China Union Pay Network, a minor adjustment to the spacebar in the Safari app, and a number of other small fixes. However, overall, iOS 8.3 blatantly lacks any killer features, so to speak, that would justify the update from iOS 8.2 or even 8.1.x to the forthcoming firmware in its current state. It's possible that new additions will find their way to iOS 8.3 soon, though. Now, as far as jailbreaking is concerned, unfortunately, the latest beta maintains Apple's Taiji jailbreak patching remedy that was first introduced with the release of iOS 8.1.3. Having said that, there's a lot to look forward to in the world of jailbreaking, primarily MSS, or the Mobile Security Summit, 
2015, at which a number of famed jailbreakers will provide keynote presentations. Currently, though, it's unknown whether Taiji will utilize the event as a platform to launch their next jailbreak, as any reports suggesting so are based purely on speculation and conjecture. However, we do know that great things are likely to come into fruition as the result of the collective knowledge that will be shared and presented during the summit. Also, that doesn't mean that we won't see a new jailbreak released, it's just not likely and any reports suggesting so again are based on speculation. Moreover, while we do know for a fact that Taiji will release a new jailbreak utility, it remains unclear whether the team will target the current public version of iOS, being 8.2, or instead set their sights on the upcoming iOS 8.3 firmware. Unfortunately, while the option may not sound appealing to most eager to jailbreak, the latter of the two options is the smart move for Taiji to take, as it will effectively ensure the longevity of their next jailbreak. Now, hypothetically speaking, if the group were to release a new iOS 8.2 jailbreak this far after the firmware's public availability, and alternatively, this close to iOS 8.3's release, the impending 8.x update will likely patch said jailbreak, causing us to spiral backwards into the same situation that we're currently in, again, without a jailbreak. Furthermore, don't lose faith, we've received more new untethered jailbreak utilities in the past 300 days or so than we did for all of iOS 5, iOS 6, and iOS 7. A new post iOS 8.2 jailbreak is coming. Again, remain hopeful and I will keep you guys notified along the way. I will release more update videos like this one if need be. And of course, as soon as a new jailbreak is released, I will be the first to issue my jailbreak tutorial guide. So just be sure to stay tuned for all of that. Again, remember this is a great time for jailbreaking and MSS 2015 may surprise us and will definitely benefit from it regardless. So again, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to enter my iPhone 6 giveaway. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.